guys, how's it going? It is Wednesday, the 31st of October 2018, and you're watching Carter.tv. Right. Look, I know I need a shave. I know I need a shave. Right? I know I've got the Zach Dingle look going on, right? But I'm a bit tired today. So it hasn't been on my like list of priorities, right? But I'll take care of it soon. I I got a face for radio, and it's not gonna change much for you poor buggers that have got to look at me, is it? So I'm just a bit tired. Uh, there's been some reports today from France, originally from uh, France, claiming that Liverpool are interested in this kid called Abdoulaye Dokore. That's how I think you pronounce his name. I don't give a fuck if it's right or wrong. All right. A B D O U L A Y E space D O U C O U R E. All right. Uh, Watford midfielder, uh, a PSG, Arsenal also linked. And I was having a little mooch around earlier, and he was uh, listed in an article published by The Telegraph. Um, only today, actually. Yeah, the day. I didn't know, I didn't realise that. This morning, in fact. And it's uh, an article titled The 20 Best Players in the Premier League, October 2018. And he's in there at number 20. How long will he be at Watford for? A key reason the club is doing so well in the Premier League this season. The Frenchman is seriously classy with the ball and seems to love doing all the underappreciated work off it that a midfielder must to succeed. Two assists, seven tackles and three interceptions. He creates and wins the ball back. Interesting to see that Virgil van Dijk is at number 19. Do we have any other Liverpool players in here? Of course we do. There's some more. Where's Salah for a start? Come on, come on, you fool. Here we go. Salah is number 10. Uh, come on, there's going to be more than that. Let's keep going. Do you know what, guys? It fucking isn't. They've got Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang at number one. Get away with it. Uh, anyway, so this boy is uh, is linked with us. There isn't a great deal of information around. I'm sure you guys uh, know him better than me. I don't really pay a lot of attention to other clubs, to be honest. And by the time match of the day comes on, well, you know, in the past I've usually been busy. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I, and I, I, find, I get very impatient. I find it very difficult to sit still for ages and concentrate on stuff that doesn't really interest me. So I haven't really paid much attention to this boy. So judging by the reviews and the interest from PSG in him, which is, sounds plausible, maybe Arsenal, maybe ourselves, whatever, then obviously now, you know, I will take a look because I suggest... No, what is wrong with me today? The suggestion is, um, you know, that he's a decent player. So we, we need to keep an eye on him. And um, I will say this, that he is approaching uh, November, obviously, and with the January window coming up. I usually find that the most credible or the, like the, the, the proper transfer speculation usually starts around the second week of November concerning Liverpool. All right? So that's where I am mentally. Um, we Of course, there is transfer speculation every day of the year, you know, but... Ten, I can't speak to this. Honestly, I can't. This is probably the sixth attempt at recording this video. I, I kid you not. Um, I'll start again. It tends around the second week, mid-November, um, you tend to see uh, credible specu uh, speculation concerning Liverpool. That's what I'm trying to say. So like when we've gone on to do deals in, say, January, which isn't very frequent... But usually they started to come out like in November time. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I hope I'm explaining myself properly because I'm a bit tired. All right. Um, and obviously, if you don't go on to do any business in January, sometimes those deals for, that have been heavily linked with us from mid November time may happen in the summer. So I'm sure you've got your own formats as to what you pay attention to or not. But me, like, I just like I listen to everything, take it in. Mm, let's see what happens in November. But this boy is, this is the first time I've seen his name uh, mooted with us. So I'm asking you to throw any information into the comment section that you may have um, heard about him or may have seen. I may have overlooked it. Um, but it certainly sounds like PSG uh, have an interest in him. Um, and like I say, Arsenal and Liverpool both linked. But again, it's more, more Liverpool, uh, you know, more midfielders. And it's something that we're not exactly short of, is it, at Anfield? So... I just wanted to throw that out there for you um, and I will continue to see if there is anything worth talking about today. There isn't a lot. I've said this for weeks. I don't think there's been a lot of stuff to talk about. 
Um, but I must go and do a DKB.TV video for the troops over there. All right. So I'm just basically I'm throwing this out there. If you haven't seen it, we've been linked with him. Arsenal have been linked with him. Uh, PSG have been linked with him. Don't know much about him, guys. So I can't, you know. But I'll keep an eye out on it. I'll just listen out for him. And when I'm awake, all right, and I'm watching match of the day, I will uh, pay attention to his uh, performances. I'd keep an eye on him. That's basically the, the reason that I'm making this video. All right, guys. Um, I'll speak to you soon. All right.